Ladies and gentlemen, it's Elian Kutzi here and today we're in the heart of Cheshire to test out some beautiful new Bentley Continentals. Today we're going to go across the whole range from the Le Mans to the GTC and the Bentley Speed and even the Molina Edition, so I'm really looking forward to it. So anyway, enough of me, let's get to the cars. So this Bentley Drive Day, the day that we're celebrating 20 years of the Bentley Continental, we are starting with this beautiful W12 Bentley Continental Speed. And it's the convertible edition, as you can quite clearly see. There's a lot of history and heritage behind the car. And I'll talk a bit more about that when we get inside. Right, so here we are in the Bentley convertible, as I'm sure you can guess by the fact that there is no roof as it stands and thank God it's a beautiful day up in, in Cheshire for us to actually experience it. But this is a W12 engine so it's around about 3.5 seconds 0 to 60, top speed of around 208 miles an hour. But the convertible's much more about the engaging experience it gives you, the connectivity it gives you as a Grand Tourer with its environment. One really interesting feature is that they have an actual stone veneer. You heard that right, it is an actual stone that they have in the veneer in this edition, which is a Mulliner edition, which is the full spec, the full customizable spec Bentley that they do offer so customers can have whatever they want in the cars. And it's incredible. Apparently they get the stone from somewhere in India. It has a real sort of soft tactile stone-like feel to it, yes. And it is kind of cool, even though the weather's quite warm today. So it's a really interesting finish. Another really interesting feature is the Dynamica sort of suede-like synthesized Alcantara material that they use. So what it's made from recycled polyester and polymers to, to cut, sort of give this Alcantara suede-like effect without harming the environment. So for those Bentley owners with a bit more of an environmental viewpoint, they can have those little touches too, which is nice to see. I was kind of thinking, who is this car for? Who would go for this Bentley out of all the choices? Why would you go for this one? Well, it's for those who want the performance because it's got the W12 engine, but also as well, it's a car that connects you with the environment. So if you're going on long drives across Europe, even just for beautiful days like this, when the sun happens to show its beautiful face here in the UK, it's perfect for that. Just connects you with nature, mindfulness, let's call it. It's you know, extraordinarily comfortable. It's a Grand Tour, it's still got a massive boot, maybe not quite as big because of the space needed for the convertible roof, but still ample space. So yeah, I can understand why some people might go for this model over some of the other Bentley Continentals, but yeah, there's more to drive, let's see. So the next model, Bentley Continental, we're testing out is the Azure. Now the Azure is dubbed the wellness model for the Continental, so instantly it has three different features when compared with most of the others. It has the V8 engine, which is a lot more paired back when compared to the V12. It's still potent, you're still talking about 0 to 60 around about 4.1 seconds. It is a heavy car, so it does need the power, but it's all geared around comfort. So, interior, it has a higher interior spec, has more seat adjustments, and also more driver assist. So, the idea is that it makes it more comfortable for you to drive long distances without the stress on your mind or on your body as well. On the exterior, we're looking, there's a lot more chrome detailing. It's a lot more of like a, a classic Bentley look that we're associated to. So whereas the sport ones tend to have a lot more black, blacked out wheels, carbon fiber elements, this one has chrome detailing all around, which gives it that really sort of elegant look. But anyway, enough talk, let's get behind the wheel. Okay, so inside the Bentley is your now. The first thing, it's not like the other cars didn't have it, but this environment is very inviting, very conducive to comfort, to being relaxed. It has the panoramic sunroof up there as well. So you feel connected with the outside, but the thing about the panoramic sunroof I like is that you're still fully in control of the environment. Convertible is great and lots of fun to be in, but sometimes as well, you just want to control that environment and still let the light in. And this Bentley is your does allow you that. It also has the massaging seats, which Yes, okay, other models have as well. But what you notice straight away is that the V8 is a much gentler way of getting to that 60 miles an hour. More sort of graceful, should we say, in that progression. The Azure model essentially exists to, for people, for customers, to spec up to specification that instantly connects them with a more lifestyle experience in the Bentley GT. I mean, after all, the Bentley GT is created for all manners and all walks of Continental GT drivers. So from the from the performance element for the people who like taking the cars on the track to the lifestyle who just want to cruise to the coffee shop every now and again on a Sunday in a gentle drive and just enjoy the experience at great leisure. 
So what's really interesting about these euros, it connects you to where sort of the GT came from. Now, if you look back to 2003, when the GT first launched, there wasn't really this kind of car, it didn't exist. A two and two, two door W12 engine, you know, six litre Grand Tour of Supreme Luxury. It didn't really exist at the time. So they almost created a new segment. And as such, it is considered the greatest Grand Tour of all time. And, and this Bentley Azure really does remind you of the first edition that came around. Now, since then, this is the third iteration of the Bentley Continental. And the theme hasn't changed, but the interest has. It's now up there alongside the Bentayga the best-selling Bentley in the portfolio. So, you know, there's a lot of customers with a lot of different needs and hence these different sort of models have been born, have been spawned to cater for those, those different requirements. And, and while there are very subtle nuances, they do give you a completely different feel to the Bentley Continental. And I think that's a really important thing to say. So one thing that's really worth noting in the Azure is um, the comfort features. After all, it's the wellness model. So one of the lovely features that it has is the ventilated seats and the air which cool you through the seats themselves. It also has the ionized air as well, the air purifier that's built into the cockpit. So it gives you that, that fresh air and, and, it, and it really does add to a, an overall, I suppose, atmosphere of relaxation. You don't feel rushed, you don't feel hurried, you feel comfortable and perfect for taking on those long rides across the Alps or across Europe. Okay, so the next car we are testing is the Bentley Continental, but the Mulliner edition. This is the pinnacle as far as the Bentley Continental goes. This one, to give you some kind of idea, the entry level Bentley Continental starts at around about £183,000. This is £270,000 and it has a lot of features that are bespoke and specific to this model only. One of the things that's clear to note is the double diamond grille, which is very evident from the off. It also has double diamond air intakes on the side as well, but also modern detailing all across it. For example, in the interior, it has a three color stitch of which there are 150,000 hand stitched stitches in the seats, which is only available in this specific model. There's also the piano black fascia and other details, which I'll talk about more when we get behind the wheel. So here we are inside the Mulliner edition, the pinnacle of the Bentley Continental range. And there's loads of little details that kind of allude to the Mulliner's, how, just how special the Mulliner edition is, especially this Mulliner. So for example, you've got the special Mulliner face Bentley clock in the center. You have the piano black finish with the Mulliner details in the corner as well. You also have uh, in the dash, in the speedometer, you have the speedo, you have the Mulliner colored background for those as well. And also the piano detailing across the interior here, which is again, just bespoke to the Mulliner edition as well. So it's, it's a very subtly refined Bentley Continental, but nonetheless, it does have that real elegance, supreme arrogance almost about it, which I actually quite like. I think it fits the car very well, it fits the silhouette. So also in this lovely, real subtle detailing, but you definitely feel it, even if you don't always see it, is the, the chrome speedometer and the dials behind the wheel as well. All very tactile, all very solid feeling, very well made. And in fact, the, the chrome theme continued across the Milano, giving that really classic, uh, elegant feel. The engine is the W12, 5.9 litre W12 engine, giving it a top speed of around about 208 miles an hour. So it is the more powerful version of the Bentley Continental engine in this model. Another subtle difference on the outside, it also has the satin finished rear view wing mirrors. So that's something that is only available on the Mulliner edition. So overall, there are quite subtle finishes, but they are finishes that really give this model its own place in the Bentley Continental family. Well, as you can see by the umbrella, the weather's changed and so has the tact. We've gone from the third generation of Bentley Continental back to the original where it all began, the original Bentley Continental. And this was built back in 2004 and was the car that set the world alight as the leading Grand Tourer that it is today. Right, so now we are in the original, the first generation Bentley Continental GT. So this one's a 2004 model. It's actually one of the prototypes that they originally launched when they first launched the vehicle almost, well, 20 years ago, actually, this year. So it's a very strange to be in this vehicle because it almost feels like you've gone back in time, but almost like a modern retrofit of a car that is actually quite new, but it's been fitted to look a bit older and almost feel a bit more retro. But 
the drive is still very tight, it's still very punchy. It is the W12, it still gets to Lord 60 in 4.8, so the performance is very competent. And even, in, as you can see, it's raining now, but it handles beautifully. But let's look back at the, the history of the Continental, where it started. It actually started with the R-Type Continental. That was back in the 1950s, that car. And so the design is kind of made to have that sort of rear, ready to go stance, the elegant sort of protruding front, which the Bentley Continental has kept up throughout all three generations. This car, although it is 20 odd years old, feels very, very modern, actually, I have to say. Some nice little nostalgic features. A, I love the color scheme on this. It is a nice sort of faded racing green with this sort of olive leather interior and detailing around the handles and the dash, plus the walnut dash as well, which is very classic, and the tan leather seats. But also you have things like the brightening clock in the middle, which is a real reminder of where Bentley came from in terms of partnerships in the legacy journey, plus the data sat-nav and even in the speedos. It all lends to an experience which is very nostalgic, but still very competent, still very potent. I mean, they estimate that these cars you can pick up in the region of around 30,000 pounds nowadays. I mean, it's a very good buy, still a very, very good car. I mean, this car, though it has to be said, has done, it's been looked after by Bentley directly at their home in crew, which isn't far from here. And it's only done around 28,000 miles. So, you know, it's still got very fresh engine despite its age. So yeah, wonderful expression and great to see the journey that this car has been on. Right, so here we are at the Bentley owned residence uh, in Cheshire. It's a beautiful place in Crewe and what a day it's been. We've been trying out all the different Bentley Continentals and going through the history, not just visually, but by drive as well. And it's clear to see why the Bentley Continental has been a success for the last 20 years. Right, that's it for me, Eddie and Kutzi. It's goodbye for now, and I look forward to seeing you in our next Driven video.